So when you're new into this space, it's hard to tell who is genuine and who isn't because we're all kind of hiding behind our PFPs and avatars. And there are so many people out there that are willing to give you great advice, but there are also a bunch of people out there who probably don't have your best interests at heart. So how do you know who's trustworthy and who isn't? Well, one of the things that I like to do is quiz people on the purchases that they've bought and really understand their thought process behind their buying strategy. And if they're public, you can also take a look inside their wallets and see if they put their money where their mouth is. Now, what I want to do today, if you're watching this video, or if you're, in fact you've watched any previous videos of mine, is to make sure that you know that I'm trustworthy. <laughs> And I think it's really important that every now and again I show you what I've bought and how much I've spent on them and why I bought those projects in the first place. Not only do you see the evolution of my buying strategy, it might help your journey out as well, but most importantly to me and hopefully to you is that it gives you that transparency and that trustworthiness that I know what I'm doing in the space as much as anyone can know what they're doing. I mean, you wouldn't trust someone telling you how to buy an NFT if they've never bought an NFT, would you? No, didn't think so. So in this video, I'm gonna take you through some of the top projects that I really love and why, and also I'll be letting you know just how much I spent on them. So one of the very first NFTs that I ever bought were the Junkyard Dogs. It was the NFT that got me into the space. It was the NFT with the community that really welcomed me in and helped me go through those all important processes right at the beginning. Now, bear in mind when I got into this space, I, everyone was trying to find their feet and really, really willing to help. And it was such a fantastic community and still is a fantastic community to be a part of. Now, if you're looking for an NFT that essentially is gonna give you the five, 10, 100X return. Well, yeah, that is possible in some instances, but actually there's other things at play. And for me, the nostalgia of knowing that this is my very first NFT that really got my journey going is really important to me. I love the artwork. I love the way the community really looks after its wallet holders. They have poker tournaments. They have airdrops, a weekly airdrops means that you can create a super, a uh, dog if you need to. Um, and also they even gifted us a, a claim for a junkyard pup in, um, in around Christmas time. So for me, I just wanted to start off by showing you something that sometimes NFTs can be worth more than the money that they're worth. And it can be something that's beyond that and nostalgic at the same time. Another project that I want to talk you guys through is the expansion punks. Now I purchased three of these expansion punks and the way that I did it was I purchased just after the mint, before all the hype around these guys, and I purchased in at around 0.06. Um, and I managed to be able to go through the collection and try and find ones that really stood out to me and had some good rare traits. And what I love about the expansion punks, and I do still think at 0.2 that this is a really good price point to get into, is that these guys represent an expanded universe of the crypto punks. So it's more inclusive, it's more diverse, and a lot of people are resonating with this as a great derivative project. And I would encourage you guys to take a look at these guys too, because I do think that these are gonna pump at some point and they're gonna have a real heyday and opportunity for good returns. And I'm really bullish on them. I've spoken to the team. I've managed to have them on one of my spaces. They're really, really doing great stuff for the community. And for me, I'm happy to sit on this for a while and see my investment flourish and grow. What I might end up doing is flipping one of them to pay for the other two. But ultimately, I'm happy sitting on all three of them at the moment because I think it's such a great project. Now, moving on up the ladder, I know that you guys know how bullish I am on the Boss Beauties. This is a team that has been 10 years in the making. They have been incredibly professional and keep on delivering, which is amazing. Uh, I actually interviewed Lisa Meyer, the um, founder of Boss Beauties, uh, as she was releasing a summit back in, I think, late August, early September. And at the end of that summit, the Boss Beauties were being launched and they sold out in 90 minutes. Now, if you've checked out any of my other videos, you will have seen that I have interviewed Lisa a number of times and she's such a fantastic advocate for getting women in the space. It was really important for me to be part of this and to really support this project. And the investment, if you're looking at it from that point of view, yes, it's grown. And I think, think it's still got incredible legs to grow with in the future as well. Again, I bought in at Mint. I minted four of these. In fact, I minted three and I won one um, as part of a Fame Lady Squad uh, competition. And what I love is what each of these women represents. 
I love the community. If you check out their Discord, it's pretty amazing as well to just see how in inclusive everyone feels in it. And honestly, from the UN to Marvel partnerships, and even beyond, this has got such a bright future. So it's still at under two ETH, just. Uh, this has been fluctuating around this price point, but this is just showing you that this is a future blue chip. So if you can get in there uh, when this either dips a little bit, or if you can get in there and afford to get in there now, this would be a great play for everyone because I think it supports a fantastic community. It gives back to its community each and every time. And for me, I absolutely love each of my Boss Beauties. I even bought one for my mum. Now, maybe you aren't able to afford a Boss Beauty at this stage, but you're thinking, Fame, Lady Squad, I've heard of them. What are they about? For me, these guys are like the OGs. I have had so many incredible chats with the founders. It's at a really great floor price of uh, 0.24. I have got two of these. Now I won my original one and then recently I purchased a second one and I absolutely love them. These are the original female PFP project in the NFT space. So there's heritage behind them. They've teamed up and done some really clever partnerships, including catharsis, which means that you get an in real life and digital wearable necklace, which I cannot wait to receive myself. The community has been strong. This whole community has grown like a phoenix from the ashes because what it has done is, is, is it was revealed originally that the team behind the Fame Lady Squad were actually a group of Russian men. And then three community members, NFT Ignition, I Am Board Becky and Data were voted by the community to take over the smart contract and really reignite the collection once that whole controversy had passed. And they have been growing from strength to strength. This is a really affordable, really solid project to get into and one of my favorite in my collection as well. Now, this is an interesting one. Jenkins the Valet, the writer's room. Now, this is showing you what NFTs can do beyond the traditional PFP. Now, this collection might not look like much more than a bunch of tickets, but actually what it does is so much more. And as a lot of you guys know from other videos, I do own a mutant ape and that does make up a very expensive part of my collection. And what I want is for that ape to work even harder. And what Jenkins the Valet is doing is it's encouraging you to license your ape because you have the commercial rights to your ape and have it featured initially in the book that is being written about Jenkins the Valet and all his friends at the Yacht Club uh, in, uh, by a New York Times bestseller. So this, again, in terms of Web3, opens up the possibilities of what NFTs can do for you. And for me, yeah, I have something that essentially just looks like a ticket in my collection, but I bought in at 0.05. It's now valued at 1.39. Huge talent agency CAA in, in the States has, has signed Jenkins, and we're seeing that happen with a lot of these more blue chip style projects. And actually, if you're looking to do more and make your NFTs work harder for you, something like Jenkins the Valet is a great, great place to look at because it does make the idea and the possibility of your NFT and the utility behind it expand even more than it has done before. Now, finally, you can probably tell that in my wallet, I'm a huge fan of female led projects. And I really wish I'd thought and bought into World of Women a lot earlier than I did. Now it sits at an incredible floor price of 10.34 right now. I was lucky enough to buy it for four Ethereum, which is one of the most expensive purchases that I've made just outside my ape. Uh, but what I'm so glad that I did because now it's getting the recognition that it deserves. And we've just seen in the last few days that it has teamed up with um, Hello Sunshine, which is uh, Reese Witherspoon's company, her production company to work on TV, film, licensing deals. There's so much opportunity, but this has really been the project, the female led project that has set the bar for women's projects in the space. So I'm so glad that I own one of these. I wish I owned more, but it definitely put me on a path to going, I'm going to spend more in more solid projects to know that there is the opportunity for them to go into blue chip status. And I feel that that is definitely the case with my world of women. I've even named her, her name is, is, is Anita, and uh, she sits very proudly in my wallet. Now, I obviously couldn't talk you through my purchases without obviously mentioning Derek, my ape, well, you've all seen Derek. If you've seen some of my other videos, you've seen him as my PFP on Twitter. It is super important that I support something like the Board Ape Yacht Club. For me, they 
really did change the game when it comes to NFTs and how we look at the utility side behind it. And what I wanted to do was make a purchase that really solidified my, my belief in the space. And I did that through purchasing a Mutant Ape. At the point in which I realized that this is the right thing to do, I wish I'd see, uh, like, like everyone else, hindsight's a great thing. I wish I did it earlier. And I wish that I had bought an original ape, but hey ho, we live, we learn. And I was lucky enough to get in at around 5.5 Ethereum for my ape. And it's sitting at a pretty 18, 0.79 Ethereum today, which is just incredible. But it's my forever ape. I'm not going to be selling him. I'm not going to be doing anything with him other than really to enjoy the fact that the benefits that the utility gives me is far beyond the value of the ape itself. And that for me is so important within this space. Well, there you go. A little insight into my buying journey in the NFT space, which hopefully gives you that level of trust and also that level of insight into the evolution and different thought process that I've gone through when I'm purchasing certain projects. And I hope that helps you on your journey as well. I have spent a lot of money on NFTs and don't get me wrong, I always encourage you to do your own research and to know that anything that you buy is at your own risk. And of course, that you should always only spend what you're willing to lose. For me, it's really important to show you guys that I am putting my line in the sand and making sure that this is a space that I wanna be in for the long term. So I'm making those bigger investments, not just for me, but for my family as well, but they do come off the basis of months and months and months of research and definitely not FOMO. So please make sure you do the same thing and do your research as well. Now, if you need any more help in the NFT space and you want some videos to really get you along on your NFT journey, then please do check out videos like these. These are are going to be really helpful whether you're a creator or a buyer and I hope you get a lot of value out of them so until next time I'll see you then